Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. <laughs> this is your tarot forecast for the week of December 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Five of Cups reversed, followed then by Major Arcana, the Judgment in the Upright. Next, we have the Sun in the Upright. Followed then by the Temperance in the Upright. And lastly, we have the Queen of Pentacles. You as well. There's the, This is the third sign in a row that's had three major arcana. Looks like it could be an intense week for a lot of people next week. Um, well, the week of December 2nd through to the 8th. <laughs> Um, your overall energy is the Five of Cups in the reverse position, indicating healing from a disappointment, from sadness, from um, loss, from something that has gone on. Five of Cups in the upright position points to the crying over or spilt milk because something has just happened. This is a fresh situation. It would be like, say, for example, um, you were really expecting to get that promotion at work and it went to someone else else that would be a five cups moment where you feel crushed you feel you know because you really really wanted it or really expected it and then all of a sudden somebody else gets it and it's a big disappointment um that could be a five of cups moment um you know your your beloved pet passes away that's a five of cup moment uh or or a five of cups moment your uh your somebody you're dating you know breaks up with you that's a five of cup. you lost your best friend that's you know these kinds of things are five of cups in the upright position this is where we are you know it, it, we're indulging in it. It's like a pity party. We are indulging in the emotions of the loss, the sorrow, the sadness, the d disappointment. But it's okay because to not do that would be to basically deny your feelings and that's not healthy. We're all supposed to be in that moment when something happens. But the only problem is lingering around and staying in this energy too long can cause you know, a lot of psychological damage and and uh, energy, you know, damage to the energy field. When the card is reversed, this is where we're allowing that energy to now disperse. This is called healing from a, a five cups moment. So it looks like you're on the the way of healing from a situation that was very, very difficult to you know it was a bitter pill to swallow at one time but now you're like okay i'm moving past that i'm getting over it the judgment card is here in the upright position which points to a resurrection of something this could be a resurrection of a situation a person even a company you once worked uh, for in the past maybe all of a sudden you find out they're hiring they could, somebody could be reaching out to you and you're just like oh boy here we go again this is a resurrection of something from the past returning but remember we have free will we don't have to just jump right into it even though this could be connected to your five of cups moment maybe you're just not sure how you feel about the situation going forward but by the same token it's there it's your the reason why it's there is for you to make the judgment call you can still make the judgment call we can always say yay or nay say it's an x that comes back again on the scene it doesn't mean you have to open you know take them back with open arms you can use it sometimes as closure you can use it sometimes as just um you know realizing sometimes we don't know what we want until it's presented in front of us so it could be a situation like that it could be a group of friends it could be a, you know a company anything from the past it's like here i am again and it's like you have to deal with it uh the only caveat to this is for some of you if you're more spiritually minded this could be simply representing you could have an aha moment a spiritual awakening at this time at the beginning of the week and maybe that's simply what it's referring to because not all leos are you know going through the same thing right so for some of you it's about the return others of you it could be about a spiritual aha moment next card up is the beautiful 
sun, the Leo energy in the upright position. Here you are showing up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating you are on the right path when it comes to celebrating your success and attainment that this card represents. It's also a recovery from a time where maybe there was like, um, again, could have been loss, sorrow, sadness, could have been the blues, recovering from depression, recovering from uh, illness or things like that, where now all of a sudden the vitality has returned. You feel full of energy and you just want to get going and moving forward. And you're just feeling in your element because this is literally your element, Leo, the sun. Moving on towards the weekend, we have some Sagittarius energy here now, the temperance in the upright position, which points to an exchange of energy. This is about cooperation from the people around you. You could be finding yourself working in a really good uh, atmosphere where everybody's on the same page with you. This could also represent having, um, you know, even doing it is around the holidays so maybe some of you are being put in charge of maybe a christmas party or doing something at work and this is you mixing and blending i call it my baker's card so any of you doing any baking this week you could end up with some fabulous stuff um this is also putting together being in charge of of putting together maybe a a, a, a what do you call it uh, <laughs> an office party at a Christmas party, I guess, or whatever it is your company has, maybe you're being put in charge of it. If that's the case, you're going to do a fabulous job. If you're put in charge of anything this week here, Leo, you will be doing a bang up job, mostly because the people that you have to work with are the right people. They're the right tribe and they're right beside your, right by your side. This is a great week. If you say, for example, if you just started a new job, this means you're working with like-minded people and these are really good people who will be cooperative towards you. That's always a welcoming energy for anyone in, in the workplace, but it can also take place in the home too. So this could be putting together, you know, an event for the holidays and having that work out, especially if there's baking involved. <laughs> Last card you have is the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is someone who is known um, for their ability to deal with and handle financial situations. Sometimes she can come up as a financial advisor. She could come up as a loans officer or um, an accountant, a real estate agent, people who deal with the tangible things in life. So this could be maybe speaking with somebody in terms of uh, maybe what to do with any extra ex, 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 excess, <laughs> excess <laughs> cash. So this could be maybe trying to, you know, put away um, a retirement savings fund or something like that could be just speaking with them about that could also be speaking with somebody about uh, real estate matters maybe some of you are uh, dealing with uh, real estate with your own home maybe you're looking to purchase or looking to sell it could be that there's some of that going on for some of you for others of you the queen of pentacles could be somebody who's uh, very close to you this could be a family member a friend or it could be uh, someone you're just meeting but this person is really down to earth practical is good with financial matters. This could even be an aspect of you, Leo, at the end of the week, as it looks like you're coming in really, really strong here, especially with that sun here. So this is, looks like a really strong week for you. Leo. Yeah, what can I say? I'm going to add one more card to this reading from the um, Wisdom Oracle deck, and we'll see what we have here for you guys. Yang, number one. Yin Yang, you have a, a Yang here. <laughs> 
So that is your special message, Leo. Let us know in the comment section below if this reading resonated for you and do tell us how. So in the meantime, I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week ahead. And I hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.